Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome to the 26th tutorial on algorithmic trading for beginners. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we started programming our very first algorithmic trading system and we did this blue part of our uh, overview diagram. And uh, today we're going to do, we're not going to do the red part yet, we're going to do the green part. So I'll move to the detailed um, uh, diagram over here. And um, so basically we're going to skip this part and we're going to just connect uh, to the green part right away. So we're not going to delete any order, open orders if they are, uh, if they are still open. Uh, we're just going to code this green bit, but we will leave out the um, uh, moving average filter for now. So we'll just code uh, the entry condition for buy and say, sell and uh, the fail safe mechanism. And um, that's, uh, that's what we're going to do today. So let's uh, get, uh, straight to it. Um, uh, here in front of me I have the simple system code which we started the fir uh, in the previous um, tutorial. I saved a copy as simple system tutorial 25 um, just for our future reference if we ever need to go back to it and see how it looked at that stage but we are going to be um, uh, building upon this code and so we'll be working in the system simple system.mq4 file. Um, we had uh, this alert for testing purposes and uh, testing was successful so we'll get rid of it now to uh, preserve space and it has no functional uh, function anymore. Um, where you see this comment, the core of the algorithmic trading system, that's exactly where we will be coding today. So I'll remove that for now. Uh, we don't need that as well. So here, this is where we'll be writing our code. Um, so let's go to the diagram and uh, look at the green part. So what we need to check is uh, if the price is lower than it was at the uh, open of the uh, market um, or for the day. So how we do that is we go if, um, uh, so to access the price, we need to use the open variable. So uh, open, there are four variables or um, uh, there are, uh, four different uh, variables uh, to just which describe the price uh, the prices of every candle they're open uh, close um, uh, high and low so I'm just writing these out for you um, so basically each one of them describes uh, the relevant price of a candle, but which candle you need to specify in these brackets over here. So this is uh, actually an array, but we won't be talking about arrays in this um, course for beginners. Uh, arrays we will be discussing uh, further in the more uh, advanced course on MQL4, um, which you can also find on www.forexboat.com. But in this course, we'll just uh, look at these square brackets as somewhere where we can enter a uh, the number of the candle that we want to get the price for. So in this case, we will be looking at the open uh, price. And um, the way it works is, uh, so I'll just quickly jump to the terminal. Uh, yeah, so if we uh, change this to candles, and we zoom in a bit, uh, then in MQL4, in MetaTrader 4, the way it's structured is, um, this candle over here, uh, I want to insert text, that's right. Uh, this candle over here is candle number zero. This candle number zero, this one. Then the one next to it is candle number one. And the one next to it is candle number two and so on. So basically the candles are numbered from right to left and um, uh, f so the, ver ca the current candle is always candle number one, uh, zero, then the one next to it is number one, number next to it is number two and so on. So um, this one would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you want um, the open price of the uh, eighth candle then you would type in open and then in square brackets you type in eight and you would get uh, this price over here at which uh, it was uh, the candle was open or if you want the low price of the seventh candle you type in low square bracket seven and you'd get this price over here um, 
So for us, when the expert advisor is working, we want to know um, if we are in this uh, if we're in this module here, then the current hour is equal to the start hour, so it's the ninth hour. So that means we are exactly in this candle. We're already there. And so for us, in that hypothetical situation, that will be the zero candle. That will be the one candle. Um, and that will be the two candle and so on. So um, that's, um, uh, we, we already know we're in that candle. So we need to look for the open zero price. So we want to know at which price this candle opened. And we will get that price over there. Um, so if we want to, I'll zoom in a bit more. Um, oh, that's better. Uh, so that's third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. So uh, that's uh, in this case there was ten candles. So our algorithm will be actually working like this. It will uh, see this as uh, candle number zero, candle number one, candle number two, and so on. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this candle will be candle number nine. And um, therefore we want to compare the open price of this candle and the open price of the start of the day, which is actually the ninth candle. So we want to see if, uh, what does our algorithm tell us, is price lower? So we want to see if open zero is less than open candle number nine um, and that will compare this open price to this open price but uh, what uh, we can enhance this uh, a bit more uh, by checking the following um, condition we can uh, instead of checking open number nine we want to check open start hour because start hour is nine but if say the trader changes start hour to 10 or to 12 we want this value to change as well. So we're going to change this nine with start hour. I, I really hope that makes sense that we're actually replacing a nine with a nine, but uh, a parameterized nine. So this, if, this can now change if the trader changes it and makes the algorithm more versatile. So if the trader wants to look at this candle, so basically he'll look like that, look at the trading system that way. This will be zero, one, two, three, and this will be candle number. Um, 14 or 15 what, whatever it is at this stage so um, that's the, that's our first check over here we're checking if the price is lower than it was at the start of the date day and now we're going to ignore these uh, two checks for uh, below above and we're going to implement uh, implement our uh, sending of our orders um, so if that is the case then we will uh, open a buy order else if it's not the case then we will open a sell order um, and I'm intentionally ignoring the situation where uh, open is equal to open because that is very rare and uh, I don't mind if it falls under this uh, case uh, in, our in our algorithm if you want to filter it out completely so if you want to be fair on both sides you would put here um, if open is greater so that would filter out the situation when they're actually equal but I'm not going to worry about that so just to make uh, the code simpler at this stage um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to send our order uh, to send an order we need a uh, ticket uh, uh, variable and we're also going to make it static so our function remembers uh, the value of ticket uh, throughout its execution we're going to set ticket to zero initially and uh, then here we're going to um, use order send to send a ticket. Um, so here, instead of typing like we did previously, euro use dollar, or in this case, British pound use dollar, what we're going to do is we're going to use a function which tells us which chart the program is working on, the algorithmic trading system is working on, and this function is simple. And that just basically returns the, uh, um, a name of the symbol where the uh, trading algorithm is being executed. CMD is which way we want to buy or sell, so it's buy. Um, then volume, so uh, volume, uh, to get the volume, we want the trader to actually be able to change the volume because based on your, um, uh, the number, of, the amount of funds on your uh, account, you might want to set lower volume. So we're going to introduce an external variable 
uh, and it'll be a lot double lots and it will set it to one initially we don't even need this point so we'll just set it to one and, that, and then we will use it here as the uh, volume of the transaction the price that we were at which we want to open the order well the buy orders are always open at the ask price slippage we're going to set at 10 pips um, and then um, uh, stop loss we're going to uh, we're going to let the trader input the stop loss and take profit as well so we'll have an extern int uh, take profit here which we'll set or originally say at 40 pips and we'll have an extern int stop loss here as well which we'll set at 40 pips I'm just going to make this look a bit better okay that looks better all right um so start hours nine take profit 40 40 lots one and uh here we will use those take profit and stop loss and as you recall we always do a calculation um stop loss uh, bid minus stop loss times point and bid uh plus take profit times point Uh, anything else? No, oh, we can put a comment to this. Um, um, uh, set by simple system. So we know that these orders have been set by simple system. Once again, we're ignoring the last three parameters of order sent because we don't um, need them at this stage. Uh, if you recall, we used to uh, calculate this as a separate uh, variable in our scripts when we were practicing to send orders but you don't have to do that you can put the calculation right in here and then it will be uh, sent so it will be first calculated and then it will be sent off as a parameter to order send so it's up to you if you want to take this out and uh, you want to have a variable here which is um, which would be double uh, stop loss level and calculate like that um, and then put this variable in here instead. It's up to you, you can do that. Uh, if that is more comfortable for you, but I'm just going to leave it uh, inside because it takes less space and um, uh, it looks uh, it looks better from my perspective. Uh, so here we'll have a, sa a sa fail safe mechanism. If ticket is less than zero, this is a standard one we've uh, been uh, coding for a while now. Error uh, sending order exclamation mark done so that's our um, send order order send for a um, buy order now we're going to do the same for a sell order we'll just copy that to be a bit quicker um, and it when you when you do copy there's always a few things you have to change you have to change this uh, to open sell a lot stays the same the price at which you buy or sell is different you buy you open bid uh, sell orders at the bid price the slippage is the same okay this is important this changes to ask uh, plus stop loss because uh, it's a sell order so it's upside down the stop loss is above and this changes to ask minus take profit the take profit is below the order and the common stays the same so that's just a quick way of um, copying your code um, and that's it so we can compile that no errors or warnings and now we can go back to the terminal uh well, well let's just quickly check that we've done everything here so we've checked that we ignored these two for now so going straight through we've opened a buy did a fail safe open a sell did a fail safe and that's all within this um block uh, if it is the first check so we could have compiled that let's go to the terminal and uh, see how this works so i'm going to bring up um the magnifier so that you can see what i'm doing um and uh i'm using the um tra strategy tester over here and uh, uh i'm going to select our um simple system there it is uh expert properties i'm not going to change uh, they can stay the same um it's period h1 it's british pound dollar uh control points uh we're going to change um 
actually we'll keep we'll keep control points it's just going to be a bit faster uh date doesn't matter make sure you click visual mode um and uh, spread can be current and then we'll uh, set the speed to 31 and uh, we just go ahead and click start uh, right click properties taking off the grid so it's not in our way and uh, now we're just going to follow our chart as you can see first order has been opened it is a buy order so I'm going to uh, show the period separators and so you can see it is legitimately a buy order because um, the price is less than it was at the start of the day here again it's a buy order because the price is less and as you can see they've closed above profitably I'm just gonna move this a bit um, apologies if the, if I'm moving a bit too fast I'll try to slow it down all right so nine o'clock is approaching let's see which way it should be sell order that's correct because the uh, current uh, price is um, above uh, the a price at which the order was opened and that's a sell order so it looks like it's working all right we're going to uh, deep go a bit deeper into testing in uh, in the tutorial after the next one and uh, uh, understand how all of this is uh, working how we test uh, like a bit better uh, strategies um, but that's all for today I uh, hope uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and uh, you're feeling um, some sort of uh, satisfaction from uh, your programming efforts because your system is actually finally uh, yielding some results and uh, i hope to see you at the next tutorial until then happy coding